The United States Army has embarked on a new initiative aimed at significantly enhancing the operational range of its 155mm artillery systems, particularly the M777 towed howitzer and the M109 self-propelled gun. This effort is part of the Next Generation Rocket Assisted Projectile NGRAP, program, which seeks to develop active reactive shells capable of extending the range of existing 39 caliber barrel artillery to at least 40 kilometers. While the ambition to increase artillery reach is clear, the timeline and production scale of this program suggest that widespread deployment will not occur until the end of the decade, creating a complex interplay between technological innovation, operational requirements, and industrial capacity. The primary motivation behind the NGRAP initiative stems from the current limitations of U.S. artillery systems in terms of range and cost-effectiveness. Presently, conventional active-reactive shells generally reach around 30 kilometers, a distance that is sufficient for many tactical scenarios but leaves artillery vulnerable in high-intensity conflicts where counter-battery capabilities and electronic warfare pose serious threats. High-precision alternatives, such as the M982 Excalibur, can achieve ranges of up to 40 kilometers, but they come with substantial costs and an increased vulnerability to electronic countermeasures, making them impractical for sustained mass deployment. The NGRAP program aims to address these challenges by offering a universal munition that can be fired from current artillery platforms without requiring major modifications to fuses or propellant charges, thus combining extended range with operational flexibility and reduced vulnerability. One of the notable aspects of this program is its dual-mode targeting capability. The new shells are expected to perform effectively in both guided and unguided modes, with unguided rounds reaching the maximum 40 km range, and guided rounds expected to reach around 36 km. This design reflects the Army's recognition that battlefield environments vary greatly, and a single solution must accommodate both precision strikes and mass firepower. The ability to strike targets such as infantry formations, armored vehicles, artillery positions, and critical radar and air defense installations illustrates a strategic intent to enhance the versatility of U.S. artillery. Such capabilities could allow the Army to disrupt enemy operations at longer distances, reduce risk to forward-deployed units, and provide sustained fire support in high-threat environments. Although the focus of the current effort is on 39-caliber barrel artillery, the discussion of longer 52 caliber barrels, such as those seen in foreign systems like the Ukrainian 2S22 Bogdan, indicates a broader ambition to explore the limits of extended range artillery. In theory, longer barrels equipped with advanced projectiles could achieve ranges of up to 48 kilometers in guided mode and as much as 55 kilometers in unguided mode, offering even greater strategic flexibility. While the United States does not currently operate 52 caliber systems, ongoing development programs, including modernized wheeled self propelled guns and upgrades to the M109 52 variant using PZH 2000 derived barrels, suggest that future platforms could capitalize on these extended ranges. This approach highlights a forward looking strategy where current innovations in shell technology are being paired with potential platform upgrades to create a step change in artillery effectiveness. The program's timeline provides insight into both the technical complexity and the logistical challenges involved. Early operational readiness is expected as soon as fiscal year 2027, with full adoption projected by 2030. These deadlines are contingent on leveraging solutions that are already at a high stage of technological readiness, which reduces the need for extensive modifications to existing artillery systems. However, meeting these goals will depend heavily on production capabilities and budgetary priorities. Current figures suggest a wide gap in potential annual production, ranging from 15,000 to 500,000 rounds depending on the variant, price, and specialization of the ammunition. Even at the maximum production rate, 
the scale may not fully meet battlefield consumption needs in high-intensity scenarios, especially given the high expenditure rates observed in conflicts such as the ongoing operations in Ukraine. Comparatively, production of the specialized M982 Excalibur exceeds 14,000 units annually, indicating that a simpler unguided NGRAP shell could be produced in greater quantities once full-scale manufacturing begins. The emphasis on developing a new unguided shell rather than solely relying on precision munitions is also noteworthy from a strategic and financial perspective. High-precision rounds like the Excalibur are extremely effective in targeting high-value assets but are prohibitively expensive when large volumes are required. By contrast, a cost-effective unguided shell capable of reaching 40 kilometers allows the Army to maintain mass fire capabilities while conserving resources. This approach ensures that artillery can sustain a continuous operational tempo and prolonged engagements without imposing excessive financial burdens or depleting critical munitions stockpiles. Furthermore, Compatibility with existing fuses and charges minimizes logistical complexity and reduces the risk of supply chain bottlenecks, which is critical in maintaining readiness across multiple theaters of operation. From a tactical standpoint, extending artillery range by 10 kilometers may appear incremental but carries significant implications for battlefield dynamics. Longer-range artillery increases the depth at which forces can engage the enemy, forcing adversaries to adapt their defensive positions and potentially exposing them to counter-battery fire before they can effectively respond. The ability to target not only frontline units but also rear area support systems, such as radars and air defense installations, can significantly degrade an opponent's operational effectiveness. Moreover, in environments where electronic warfare is a persistent threat, Unguided projectiles offer a resilient option that reduces reliance on GPS or other electronic guidance systems, thereby mitigating vulnerabilities that could be exploited by technologically sophisticated adversaries. The broader strategic context of the NGRAP program reflects the United States' ongoing commitment to modernizing its artillery forces in response to emerging threats and evolving combat environments. While many focus on advanced missile systems and next-generation fighter aircraft, the role of artillery remains foundational to combined arms operations. Enhancing the reach and versatility of 155mm systems allows the Army to project power more effectively, support maneuver elements over greater distances, and maintain flexibility in rapidly changing operational scenarios. At the same time, the program highlights the tension between technological ambition, production feasibility, and operational timelines, a recurring challenge in defense procurement that often influences the ultimate impact of new weapon systems. The NGRAP initiative also illustrates the importance of balancing innovation with cost control. By pursuing a solution that does not require significant alterations to existing platforms and that can potentially be produced in high volumes, the Army is aiming for a pragmatic approach that addresses both capability gaps and fiscal constraints. This balance is particularly relevant given current geopolitical tensions, where the rapid deployment of effective artillery can provide a decisive advantage in both deterrence and conflict scenarios. While the program will not deliver immediate results, the phased introduction from 2027 through 2030 suggests a measured approach that aligns technological readiness with strategic needs, ensuring that when deployed, the new shells will enhance the Army's operational effectiveness without overextending resources. In conclusion, the U.S. Army's push to extend the range of its 155mm artillery systems through the NGRAP program represents a strategic effort to enhance firepower, operational flexibility, and battlefield resilience. By developing universal active-reactive shells compatible with existing artillery, the initiative seeks to address current limitations in range, cost, and electronic warfare vulnerability. The projected operational timeline and production considerations indicate that full deployment will take time, with widespread adoption not expected until 2030. Nonetheless, 
the program underscores the enduring relevance of artillery in modern warfare and the importance of continuous innovation to maintain strategic and tactical advantages. If successful, these new projectiles could redefine the reach and effectiveness of U.S. artillery, providing a crucial capability for both conventional and high-intensity conflict scenarios.